Welcome to the daily word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the book of Colossians, chapter three, verses twelve to seventeen. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any one has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms. Hymns and spiritual songs to God, and whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. This is the word of the Lord. Faith in words and deeds. Colossae was once a famous city in Asia Minor. During Paul's time, it had declined and become an insignificant small town. The unpredictable changes in Colossae and its fortunes made Colossian Christians look for answers about life itself. But it gave an opening for fake teachers and heterodoxy to infiltrate into the Colossian church. Paul thus wrote to the Colossian Christians, reminding them about the truth and teaching of salvation. Instructing them how to face heterodoxy, Paul also taught them how to maintain their relationships with each other. Today's reading was taken from chapter three, verses twelve to seventeen. Paul advised that those, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, should clothe themselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Paul used the metaphor of wearing clothes as a rhetorical device to express these five spiritual characteristics. Love connected everything. Paul used the verb "clothe" to lead his readers to see that no matter whether the clothes are beautiful or ugly, they can be seen by everyone. Although these characteristics come from the heart, they should be seen by others, and others here refers to brothers and sisters in the church. In Paul's mind, the church is not only chosen by God, but it is also a holy and beloved body. Therefore, when there is a dispute between members of a community, non-Christians might react with anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language. But this is not for Christians. Bear with each other and forgive is the attitude which Christians must have. Verse thirteen reminded us to reflect, bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Paul mentioned one another and each other to highlight the complaint must be solved between both parties within the community. The meaning of the original text for. The word "bear" is to be patient and deal with the problem with tolerance. So, besides bearing the existence of the complaint, Christians should also resolve their issues with tolerance. After mentioning the five characteristics, Paul added, "Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony." Paul stressed again that Christians should possess this love to be perfect. To Christians, love is not just an attitude, but also a reaction, because only if one possesses love can one live out in our forgiveness and hope. It is when we are willing to put ourselves down and confess our faults humbly that we can win a soon-to-be-lost brother for heaven. And now a time for reflection. In word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can others see God through us?
Paul taught us to bear with one another and forgive each other. Is this easy for you to do? What are the difficulties? Paul reminded Colossians, Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. How does this affect you in your spiritual life? And now our prayer. Our Father, without your grace we have no strength. Have mercy on us. Help us to keep our lives filled with faith, hope and love, that we can fulfil our life with love towards God and our neighbours. Amen.